Ford at the ramp. Okay, thank you. Okay. We're here at the Western Maryland Scenic. Pretty neat. And we got a lot of people here today. We've been here before. On the Western Maryland. But we got uh, 1309 today. That's why we're here to ride her. There's our engine man. Excuse me. We did? Yeah. This is amazing. Built nineteen forty nine. H six class for Chesapeake and Ohio. Chesapeake and Ohio. Heavy call hulk coal hauler. That's why this locomotive was built. To haul the heavy coal drags over the Allegheny Mountains. It is a compound articulated. Meaning compound means the steam is used twice. Look at the size of that. Is your air compressor? Baldwin Locomotive Works, Philadelphia, USA, November 1949. And I will put in the description uh, more of the details and particulars of this. The compound, like I said, uses steam twice. Articulated, uh, it's also called a Malley or Malay. Uh, the French designer way back realized that these big locomotives couldn't negotiate curves. So he actually put a pin in the middle, basic, a simple illustration to make it articulated. So they call them Malays or Malays. Awesome, just awesome. Well, hello. Hi. Where's Pappy at? Right over there. I got your tickets. I figured he'd be down here. Yeah. We got following all following me. Okay. Jan's on board. She got our seats. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Okay, we got another special guest, Pappy, with us today. He'll be over in a minute. He's been on our show before. There he is. That's what I do. I already got Mrs. Pappy. How you doing, Dave? <laughs> Good to see you again. Thank you for inviting me. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a great time. Pappy said Pappy's been with us before on the. Uh, Last time, first time with steam with Waynesburg and Washington Railroad, and uh, second time was the Aegis Steam Roundhouse. Yes. So uh, we got a lot of new subscribers since Pappy's been with us. So check out his channel over at Try Goggin. He's got a lot of cool stuff over there, a big variety. He gets around all over the place. So I'll put a link in the description so you can go to his channel. Hope to see you guys over there. <laughs> Let's have some fun, Dave. Oh yeah, it's going to be a great day. Oh, I caught it coming across the bridge. He was over there catching across the bridge. Nice. I don't know how well I got it. Other than side catching it. Get some pictures taken of this guy here, so we get around on the other side. Quite a history of how this locomotive got retired, went to the from CNO, it didn't run very long, maybe five or six years. Of course, it came in right at the end of the uh, where the diesels were coming in, and it got retired after about five years. I don't know the exact dates. Went to the B and O Railroad Museum, 
and came here to the Western Maryland. Holy moly. Look at the size of that one. Wow. The heat off of this is just awesome. So we're going to, like I said, I've, I've been on Western Maryland before, uh, so it's not going to be much about the trip on this video, but we're going to try to catch a lot of whistle action on this video. Plus some of the curves having him go around, we'll catch him on some of those. I got the helm step of the curve. Right there. Is your pen I was telling you about. And Trains Magazine actually has a video on it of Halter in here setting these trucks and getting that pin set just right. It's a pretty cool video. You go to Trains Magazine, uh, you can watch that. So that will swivel in there and that'll help it negotiate the, uh, the curves. What an awesome accomplishment here for the Western Maryland Railway to have this. does have a stoker. It's an auger screw that feeds the coal. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to shovel all this coal. Just awesome. Awesome, awesome. We'll be back. Yeah, I work uh, track maintenance on a coal hauling railroad. Which one? Cumberland Mine Railroad. Oh, which? Cumberland Mine Railroad. Okay. So if you need me to ride out in front of you and do a track inspection, I'm FRA qualified to do that. I'm concerned it works on pure magic, but I know how to control that. Sometimes you have to keep one eye. I'm here. I need to count that. Last time we rode with the diesel, I had a couple of slow orders up here. I offered to come and tamp, but. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Okay. Okay, here's our ride. We're in the open air car again. You're going to ride steam, you got to be open air. Okay. So, traveling companion. So, we're going to have a great day here. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Hi, I'm fine. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. Sorry about the post here. Can't help that. Pulling out of the station. They gotta shut that music off. 
I come to hear the steam train, not music. <laughs> Okay. It's going to be a fun day. Not enough room for me to get through there, but right behind the tender. I don't know if you can see the light on behind the tanner. He's got 1309 on his sides. That's pretty cool. But that'd be awesome to see you lit up. Up here, Helm Stetler's curve. Yeah. <laughs> this 
is authenticity. <laughs> Was it in there? All the cold cinders. Oh. <laughs> We're having a good time. totally awesome. My glasses got all fogged up. <laughs> oh, that was awesome.
this is railroad 